Uh, I'm going to pass you. Okay. Right in here, right there, that's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. He's on the beach right now because that is another story that we're watching. And Mike, geez, look at this. Wow. I mean, Mike's in it. And uh, what have you seen so far, Mike? Well, you guys were with me yesterday. I know you really can see the difference in the beach. We've lost more of the horizontal width, but this cut goes down about four feet. And I'll watch what happens when I put my foot here. Maybe I won't have to. See how easy that sand just cascades into the water? That's what's going on right now. High tide here uh, just before noontime, so we're less than an hour away from high tide. These waves come in, the longshore push uh, from north to south, and then uh, with a, a big, strong push of water, the sand just gets eaten away. So the owners, the homeowners here, are concerned about losing this entire dune. If not with this high tide, the fact that we're going to have successive tides running well above normal, three, maybe four feet right on through Sunday, probably have some issues on Monday. They think they may lose their whole due. Now, granted, they've got a lot of elevation right here. They've got the, gosh, about 10, 15 feet. That, that is the higher dune with the uh, seagrass, sea oats, and the vegetation. So that is really their last barrier. And that didn't, didn't keep them safe through Isabel. The water came over that during Isabel. We're not going to have that issue. But these winds are blowing at about 25 miles an hour sustained uh, and then gusting at times close to 40. The buoys offshore uh, from here up to the uh, Ocean City, Maryland area, wave heights as much as 17 feet. Right now, I'm looking at probably seven, eight footers, and they're breaking as far as the eye can see. But you just pan down the beach, and you can see how narrow it is. Here comes another wave coming right up here, and see what happens? It just blows it up, and then more of the sand just fell right in here to the Atlantic. Watch this one. Watch this one. There it goes. You also get a mouthful of salty water. That's that's uh, no charge. Um, but you got to sense Dr. Postel and Maria and Jess and, and Chris on what's going on here. There's another way. We got another probably two to three hours of the water being up here. And then we'll have, again, high tide after high tide right on through the weekend with this wind. Boy, this is stronger hey. than we had the five days last week. Hey, hey, Mike, stay with us right now, if you would. Dr. Postel, will you weigh in on this as we have Mike here with us and we're looking at, at, the, at the, the, the waves coming in? And it's not like this is going to blow by in a couple hours. This is a big deal. Big deal and a long way from Joaquin. If you look at the radar right now, there's a lot of rain moving up from Carolina into southern Virginia. This is associated with a funnel zone that's actually just offshore and Mike is in that northeast wind right in here. That's sustained, as he said, 20 plus miles per hour, pushing the water. A lot of it along shore, but Sometimes some of those waves come in and bring those very high levels. So we are going to see minor to perhaps significant coastal flooding across this region over the next couple of days, way out away from Hurricane Joaquin. This is associated with that mid-latitude disturbance moving in and, and sort of the overall pattern along the coast. And, and Mike, as you're standing out there, what's your plan this weekend? Are you going to stay right there? What are you, what are you going to do for, for uh, your reporting? I'm thinking about some surf and turf right about now. <laughs> we, we are going to stay uh, right in this area. Now, uh, we're going to have to pull back. We've already pulled back. Yesterday, we were over here. We've lost that beach. We, the beach was out there. So obviously, safety is the first concern. Uh, but we'll be able to show you. There goes another wave hitting up. <laughs> Brad Reynolds, our photographer, a little bit. Safety is for the concern, but we want to be able to show you the evolution and how the Atlantic, without a direct hit from the tropical system, how the Atlantic Ocean is rearranging the coastline on a beach here that has not been replenished, unlike Sandbridge to the south and the... Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. There you go. This is what we're dealing with. Uh, unlike Sandbridge to the south and the boardwalk area where the hotels are to the north, big wide beach is there helping them out. This beach, Crowton Beach and Virginia Beach, has not been replenished, and this is what happens. The atmosphere takes over, and uh, even though we'll have some natural replenishment, uh, you just can't replenish all the sand. We show you a picture, guys. Maria may remember this last weekend. In the late 90s, they had two full-time volleyball courts here. You know, even at high tide, it was way, way out there. A big, big difference here. They, they're trying to get some sand thrown in here by the court. So, Mike, you say you're going to stay there throughout the, the duration of this to show us the evolution. And again, if you feel like while we're talking, you need to, to, to go away, you go for that. Please. But 
Talk about what's your prediction. What are you expecting the beach that you're on right now to look like come Monday morning? Well, I really think by sometime tomorrow, we've got a high tide, you know, late tonight, every 12 hours roughly. I think we're going to, like the homeowner said, we, we're going to lose all this right here up to the uh, up to the fences. We've got this big protection area, but I think where you see the sign here says, please keep off the dunes, I, uh, the water is going to be up here. Because we've lost five or six feet since yesterday of horizontal width from west to east. It's just, it, it's, it's very, very uh, sad to see this happen. And it's, again, it's the longevity, the persistence of this wind is just not going to stop. And high tides, fortunately, we don't have the full moon like last weekend, but high tides, uh, Michael Lowry, uh, our specialist back there, uh, talking about maybe four feet above normal. That's like a surge of four feet. So we're going to have issues in downtown Norfolk, Buckrow Beach, and right here, at least this part of the uh, Virginia Beach area without the replenishment. We'll stay with you throughout the weekend from Virginia Beach and give you these uh, wild pictures of the Atlantic Ocean on the Weather Channel. All right, Mike, just be careful. That, that wave kind of uh, shocked me there for a minute, so just make sure you're, you're steady on your feet, and Brad as well, just be careful out there. All right, we're back uh, with analysis on that big threat from the northeast to the southeast. Heavy rain and the potential for life-threatening flooding.